Okay, and let's look at our last question here, number 19. So we have a word problem, okay, and it says here the square root of five more than a number is twice the number. Okay, and we're being asked to figure out that number. <clears throat> so the first thing you should do is just have a variable here. So let x equal the number. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Okay, we know the word is is a representation for equals. Okay, and it says the square root of 5 more than a number. So 5 more than a number is simply x plus 5, and we're taking the square root of that, and that has to equal twice the number, 2x. So this is kind of similar to what we had in the previous question, just a little, little bit cleaner, though, in terms of this. So to start working on this, you need to square both sides. Okay, square to get rid of the radical sign, so that's going to be x plus 5 is equal to 4x squared. Okay, and then let's rearrange this equation, put everything to one side. So I'm just going to flip it all around. So we're going to start with 4x. Um, we're going to subtract x to this side, and then we're going to subtract 5 to this side. So we're going to make that all equal to 0. All right, at this point, you've got a choice. You could either graph this equation to find the roots, because that's what we're looking to find. Okay, um, or you could use the quadratic formula. Okay, but let's just try, see if we can factor something here because it does look like it might work. So in a question like this, we know the negative 5 can only come about if we're going to multiply 1 and a 5. Okay, and the 4x, we've got a couple of choices, is 2 times 2 or 4 times 1. But what gives it away here in the middle is that we want a difference of 1. Okay, so that means, and actually negative 1. So if we could keep the negative 5 a negative and add the 4 to it, Okay, we should be able to see if that works. So if I start with 4x and x, that'll give me 4x squared. And then the middle term is negative 5x plus 4x, and the final term is negative 5. So it just so happens that you can factor this equation. So in this case here, we're going to have two roots. Okay, so 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. x plus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 5 quarters, okay, or x is equal to negative 1. Um, so now we don't have any restrictions on this variable here, so either of these solutions should work. Okay, 5 quarters is given to you as the solution for one of the numbers, um, but it doesn't say whether it, it has to be exclusively positive or you can't have a negative value. Okay, so the negative value in this case also can work. Alright, so that's how you would do this question. It's just a simple translation of the word problem. Write out the math and then just keep going with the steps.